Hi there, it's Jeannie Rainey back in my craft room and I wanted to share with you a card that I thought was pretty neat. So, looks like an ordinary card, right? Well, this is a special card. You can fold it in a way because it's got so many folds in it. Let's see if I can do it. There's one side. There's the other side. Now, look at it this way. Ta-da! Quite different from when I first showed you, right? I thought it was so fun. And so I figured I'd come on here and show you how you can do it too. Um, I didn't come up with this design on my own. I went to Pinterest and uh, the demonstrator Facebook page to try to find directions and all I could find were directions to make a six by four and I wanted mine to fit into our standard envelopes which is five and a half by four and a quarter so I had to adjust the instructions that I found so let me show you how I did that I used the trimmer this is the Stampin' Up trimmer and I want to um, suggest to you that if you put a piece of washi tape underneath these numbers it's much 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 easier to read them I was finding it hard to read the numbers being black on a light or on a navy blue paper so um, as a tip go ahead and put some kind of a lighter tape across the number so that you can read them easier so um, this is our trimmer which has um, two blades here. One is a scoring blade and one is a cutting blade. And the way that I try to remember which one is which is that one is, I call them white and black. The black one is serious, so it's the one that cuts. And the white one is just going to score. So let's get started by scoring first. Pretty simple. We're going to score at two inches. Four inches, eight inches, and ten inches. And I should mention that this was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and I cut it down to five and a half. So these are the scores that I need so far. Then I'm going to um, one of the nice features about this uh, trimmer is it measures out one and a half inches past the blade, so I can measure that, um, or past, past the, not the blade, but the um, cutting line or scoring line. <clears throat> so when I come in to do my scores, I'm going to score at, I mean my cutting. <laughs> I'm going to cut starting at one inch. So I'll start at my one inch right here. One to five. Then again, seven. Seven to, el to eleven. And then we're going to turn the paper over and do the same thing. Put it at one inch past the line, past the uh, score or cutting line. So this time I'm starting at 11 and going down to seven and then picking it up and going to five and going down to one. So that's all the cuts that we're gonna do. We have a couple more scores to do. So get the cutting blade out of the way. So we're gonna score at one inch and then we're going to just score right to our cut line. So from the bottom edge, score to the cut line and then go up to the top one inch just to the cut, cut line to one inch. So that was at one inch. Now we move it to, well, we've already got the two. So we've got the two and the four. So we go to five. We do the same thing. We just score to the one inch cut line on both outer edges. Okay, so then we go to seven. Seven. 
8 was already done. 10. It's already done. And then 11. And then I'm going to score. So this one goes this way. I mean, we're going to fold all of our folds and uh, get that nice and um, crisp edges there. So there's that. Then this one goes under, this one goes over, this one goes under, this one goes over. There's that one side. Let's see how that comes together. This one goes under, this one goes over, this one goes under, and this one goes over. So there we have both of our sides, all of our creases. Okay, now that's the basic card. Okay, now all we have to do, I pre-made all these little bits and pieces so that it would be much quicker. So I've got my silicone sheet here for all the gluing. <clears throat> I'll give you all the measurements. Now, um, I wouldn't normally use the multi-liquid multi-purpose liquid glue with um, DSP. If you get too much, it makes the paper bubble. So um, I would normally use a snail, but just for the purpose of being able to adjust it, if I get it crooked, I'm just going to use this glue for this case because you can see how you can move it around. Uh, it's not positioned well. Okay, so we can lift it up a little bit before it's set. Get it positioned a little bit better. It's really a pretty simple card and at the same time pretty amazing. Okay, lots of little bits to put on here. So I did not create this card. I found it online and I searched and searched for the directions and I found Amanda Bates had some directions that are wonderful. I did have to adjust it a little bit to, to fit um, our standard envelopes, but um, she is online with um, the, the Craft Spa and she had some really good uh, instructions which I will show you. And I'll share all the uh, measurements with you so you can make one of these yourself because I know you're going to want to make it. Father's Day coming up, this would make a nice Father's Day card. Change the sentiment. So you can see I had it put together like a puzzle so I know where I, all the pieces go. Just wanted to make it quick.
be using this tool. It's called your Take Your Pick tool. It's really nice. It has a piece of putty on one end of it, so it helps you to pick up little little bits of... Okay, just a little bit of technical difficulty there. Anyways, here is my finished card. And I just had a couple of more things to share with you. Um, wanted to remind you that this design came from um, Amanda Bates at the Craft Spa. And um, it's called, she calls it the Large Square Double Display Card. And here's a diagram that helps you um, figure out how to cut your paper and to score it. Then with, uh, here's uh, a guide for your DSP cuts. So I will leave those up there with you, but I wanted to share, share with you um, the products that I used. <clears throat> okay, the Sailing Home stamp set, and it comes in a bundle um, with smooth sailing. When you buy it as a bundle, you save 10% uh, that way. And so if you want to buy this bundle, you should do it before the new catalog, because in the next catalog, it's gonna be breaking up into two separate items and not bundled together anymore, so you won't get that 10% savings. Uh, the sentiment that I used, um, this sentiment came from here, um, from Positive Thoughts. So this is a wonderful, nice um, stamp set. Then the DSP is the um, Come Sail Away Designer Series paper. I store my Designer Series papers like this. I cut them down to four by six and it just makes it a lot easier to use. So again, I wanna thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and are inspired to make one of these cards yourself. Thanks, bye.